For too long, the impact of retrofit insulation on buildings has been underestimated, but now the unintended consequences are starting to become apparent. A real performance gap is emerging. Thousands of homes have, over the last two decades, had retrofit cavity wall insulation installed. That works perfectly well in many of these homes, but in a large number of properties, instead of creating the ideal conditions, the process is leaving a trail of problems in its wake. Valentina Marincioni is a research engineer in building physics at the Bartlett UCL. In her research, Valentina is seeing some of the issues linked to cavity wall insulation. There is an increasing number of dumplings issues in properties where cavity wall insulation was installed as a retrofit measure. Moisture now appears in properties where there was no history of dampness prior to the installation of cavity wall insulation. The cavity exists to provide a barrier for rain. If the cavity is filled with insulation, it allows rainwater to travel through the insulation and reach the inner leaf of the cavity wall. However, the quality of the service provided in the industry varies considerably. We can find cavity wall insulation installed in locations exposed to wind-driven rain, where cavities should be left uninsulated, patch insulation or inappropriate materials or techniques being used. In line with these concerns, National Trade Body, the Property Care Association, is also reporting a surge in the number of problems linked to cavity wall insulation. The PCA first raised concerns several years ago and has since actively lobbied for more investigation and action to address the problem. We have over 400 contractor members of the association with surveyors and other specialists in the property preservation market. Approximately 200 of those deal with dampness and condensation on a daily basis and we're seeing uh, a substantial number of those contractors dealing with problems associated with retrofit insulation and air management. The problem that we've seen over the last few years is that there's been a huge amount of extra money coming in to um, fund retrofit insulation projects and this, this money has been very well received by a, an industry that's rushed to spend a, a, as much of it as possible. The problem with that sort of means of procurement is that a lot of poorly delivered and ill-conceived work has been put out there into the world. We're seeing a vast increase in the numbers of problems associated with um, retrofit insulation. Um, they include problems with both penetrating damp and um, internal um, moisture in the form of mould and condensation. With cavity wall insulation, there is no way, um, just simply by looking at the building, that uh, a homeowner or even a surveyor will know whether the walls have been overpacked with insulation, whether there's been bits missed, whether the cavity liners have been fitted, whether the air brick sleeves have gone in. Um, these things are, are only apparent when you start using advanced diagnostic procedures or start to take the building apart. The only possible way of a homeowner knowing that they've got a real problem with the insulation that's been fitted is when dampness appears. Otherwise, even though it may be faulty, if there is no dampness, there's no evidence of any problem or failure or defect with the insulation at all. Um, and so, yeah, it's very, very difficult for most people to know until there's a problem that there could be a problem. In response to these issues, the PCA has developed a range of initiatives. These include dedicated training for property professionals, including surveyors, who need to increase their awareness of the issue. The PCA has also developed a residential ventilation group to look into the important area of effective ventilation within a property, which can help manage the problem.